Hi, uh, I'm Shaq Zod, just Shaq. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Test Vision Startup Company. So, um, Test Vision uh, provides in-store analytics tool for offline retailers by using artificial intelligence and machine vision. Our mission is to transform traditional retail industry with AI. In order to transform traditional retail industry with AI, we need to have uh, more accurate and advanced uh, algorithms to deploy and embed it on edge because all computing not in the cloud we are using embed on edge so it means that we are using existing infrastructure existing cameras cctv cameras and uh, computing inside these cameras so till today we fundraise at approximately one million dollar and uh, we have in our cap table uh, from many countries vc funds so first of all is OZVC from Uzbekistan, second is Activat from Kazakhstan, third uh, is a 500 Global from US, and we have a two business angel investors from Uzbekistan. Also, right now we're in the process of uh, working with Eastern Europe, VC funds and many countries, uh, VC funds too. Looking to my storytelling, uh, I was a conductor. So a conductor who are uh, collecting the money, and giving tickets in the buses. When I was in a primary school, in the summer, summer period, I just uh, worked as a conductor to help my dad business. And um, there was a problem uh, that uh, cashiers and uh, bus drivers not giving 100% of cash to the managers. Uh, that's why I, I want to solve this problem. And in order to solve it, we just, uh, with my team, we uh, built a hardware with infrared sensors to counting passenger transit, how many passengers just in and out in the buses. It was a 20, 2018 at the end and the beginning 2019. And we connected more than 85 buses in Uzbekistan, most of them from regions, not in the, in, in the capital. So, and we solved it. We solved the problem. We understood that there was a business, sustainable business. We did a hardware for solving the stealing cash in the best transportation system. And we implemented in a uh, private companies to, and we started to counting how many passengers in and out and having statistics. So, and after that, we analyzed that the market is very small and we pivoted to the retail because retail one of the big one of the big market to to start to scale it, uh, but in this in this scenario we just pivoted not providing only our sensors and infrared sensors, we pivoted to the AI to the machine vision to the existing uh, cameras CCTV cameras, because we understood that uh, we need more advanced technology to do in-store analytics for offline retailers. Uh, right now in our company, we, we have more than 25 people who are working in a full time. Also, we have a contract based from South Korea and China, uh, PhD uh, engineers. So, and we have connected more than a thousand offline stores in four countries. We are working in four countries in Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Turkey. And we started to do expansion in 35 plus countries like Eastern Europe countries and many countries too. So uh, we are generating more than a $600,000 ARR. It's uh, uh, annually our uh, turnover and our gross margin is 93.8% and we're growing fast, just 500% year over year. Test Vision is my first startup and we need exit. In order to start the second one and with a bigger idea, with a bigger problem and uh, to be unicorn in the second and the third startup. So what relation? I think more than a half million dollars for the first startup and to do exit is a perfect. Before IT Park in 20, 2018, it was uh, very difficult to find the right people and the right team uh, due to the taxes and due to the uh, qualified engineers. When IT Park started to provide more preferences to the residents with uh, decreasing the taxes and also started promoting uh, with one million coders and other, other in initiatives and programs, it helps to have qualified engineers and qualified uh, just right people uh, to the team, to the startup and to the IT companies. So, and uh, right now, we have a qualified PhD engineers, as I said earlier, in China and South Korea. These guys is uh, from Uzbekistan, it's Uzbek guys, 
who are working remotely and uh, proving PhD in other countries. So one of the ma main difficulties in Uzbekistan or all the Central Asia is the market is very small for startups. If you want to do startup and you want to do something, so Central Asia is very embryonic stage and a very small market. So you need to focus more on global market, but start locally to test it because testing locally is very cheap. This is a pros and cons and you should uh, just uh, think globally in order to start expansion very fast in early stages. Uh, so we participated in many programs uh, by providing from IT Park. We participated in seminars, in, a, in, in a webinars, in a President Tech Award accelerators and awards too and grants. So it helps us to uh, just scale fast locally, first of all. And second of all, uh, we just, uh, due to the preferences from Texas, we save more, more than uh, just uh, 50K, $50,000 per year for the taxes for our employees and also taxes for other cases. Why, why I started my journey with a startup not to be in a classic business? So the main reason is that I believe that technology uh, has a superpower to change the world for the better. What I mean is that uh, technology is one of the vertical of business, I mean, uh, who, are, who has access to change any verticals in a business. So it means that you can scale fast and affect and all over the world. Being a founder, I think everybody knows that it starts from the beginning until the end. Uh, there's a lot of difficulties, a lot of challenges and a lot of uh, just fuck ups and fails, but it, it motivates you and it gives you power to go forward because you have a mission, you have a clear goal and you want to achieve it. In order to achieve it, you should just go. And there's a not single one difficulties, I will say. So there's a several difficulties starting from just uh, uh, getting or hiring the right people in your team and make sure that the entire company works well. And another one is uh, to raise investments. And another one is uh, to evangelize and hope that all your goals and your uh, just um, mission uh, will be happening in the future. Going to the task vision back, so for the next three years, we will focus on, a, on a, to the expansion on a 35 uh, countries, like in many countries and Eastern Europe countries and US, just was, uh, more vast uh, countries in order to, uh, to, to build the international and global company. And um, uh, from the second side, from AI as an AI expert uh, from Uzbekistan, I will tell you that AI is uh, already implemented in each sector of business and uh, in the near future, in the next three, five years, AI will definitely change each direction and optimize the routine workflows and uh, just increasing the efficiency of each uh, stages, but we are all initiatives is a weak AI. So we are just right now living in the weak AI. So when it comes to the general AI, so I think uh, just the population will not have uh, uh, enough time and opportunity to realize that the general AI has already come. So it's the same as like, like a weak AI already did it. So there is a two scenario when AI just can uh, serve us for the better world or a second scenario when AI can destroy civilization.